Was it your choice to be killed in every video? And do you have a favorite kill? So I did not have a choice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Spencer definitely wanted to murder me. We're going to bring up some of the lovely, attractive, gorgeous, talented cast members of the Welcome to Horrorwood story. So let's do it. Hi. Hi. Long time no see, everyone. Hello. Thank you, Beetlejuice, baby. <laughs> Nadia is so fucking nervous, but she's doing such a fucking good job. How much do we love Nadia? Yeah. yeah. Wait, way to just throw her under the bus immediately, by the way. But yeah. Well, this, this, that's, that's what fucking they Danielle did to me. They say face your fears, right? Like, face what, your fucking fears. This is I, my I, first I believe, panel. I believe it, it's Phil... It's Phil Toll in the Metallica movie that says you have to... You know, remember Phil in the Cosby sweaters? He was like, you have to face your fears. Anyway. Metallica crowd's very light, I guess. Nobody knows what that means. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi, Ricky Dean Logan. Oh, my Woo! God. <laughs> Mr. Mosley. Um, guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. <laughs> just in the panel right before this, a very, Amazing. let's just say a very young man, child, said his first horror film was House of a Thousand Corpses, so... I don't know if there's, uh, his parents may have some kind of invoice for you for some type of therapy, but, uh, let's be aware. Yeah. So let's talk about, let's start. Oh, am I chopped liver over here? Just because I'm on this side? <laughs> I mean, Wait, are you I'm, still I'm here? I'm doing it with you. I'm doing it with Your you. Your panel was I'm a couple hosting. days ago. I'm hosting. Yes, you. <laughs> So, we ha I mean, we do have... Here's the thing. I'm, like, bookended by the legal authorities of the Horowitz story. Mm -hmm. And yet... Yeah. yeah. And so. there's been some betrayal. As there yeah. always there's is. very corrupt yep. law enforcement characters that we have around yeah, us. Yeah, that, that's a Nadia question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Mr. Mosley, I would like, for those of you who, who don't know, if, if you could tell us a little bit about how you first encountered Ice Nine Kills and uh, got invited to be part of this whole thing, and did you have any idea being asked to be in a music video that it would turn into multiple music videos and that you would have this arc? I did not have any idea at all. And uh, I actually just got a call saying, uh, you know, drive out to El Monte or something, wherever we were. <laughs> yes. And it was in the middle of the pandemic, and we all had masks. And um, I sat at a, uh, at a console and uh, eventually got my throat slit. <laughs> and uh, I had a great time. I loved everybody that I was working with. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I guess I was the, the right man for the job. Um, I, that eventually morphed into uh, Captain Harris, uh, you know, uh, man of the law with only, <laughs> only 134, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> demerits on yes. my record. <laughs> but, um, you know, but I am, I am convinced uh, to this day, actually, that uh, Spencer is still guilty. So. That's, what, that, that's what makes him delusional. My Scout, client, how do you feel about the theory that Spencer's guilty? Innocent. You guys know that. This is Captain No Case Harris over here. Let's just keep it that way. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll keep, I'll keep going in, in order of uh, a seating arrangement is all. Yeah. Saving the best for last. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Logan. Yes. So uh, this character uh, of a, uh, shall we say... Um, Shyster. That, that's one word. <laughs> yeah. See what I gotta put up I was trying to think of a more polite version, but yeah, let, shall we say a, 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 a bit of an unscrupulous uh, attorney? Where did that come from? I mean, the idea of playing a lawyer who's actually kind of a shady, seedy person. I mean, where did that come from? Wait, does your hat say "Don't be a dicky"? Yeah, he was. He was. Is that your, for that. Does your hat say yeah. "Don't be a dicky"? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I love oh, don't it. be a dick on your hat. <laughs> oh, don't cute. Be, don't sorry, be a dick. Cute. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Well, there's, 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 there's so don't be. too many dicks, yeah. not enough bridges. That's the way I see it. <laughs> what? I'm just wondering oh, if you've ever encountered any lawyers in, in real life that maybe were, I don't know, not so wholesome. 
guys crack me up. To answer that question, um, you know, I, I met Spencer years ago at, a, at, a, at our first con. It was the first time I had met Nadia and Spencer. And um, we hit it off and, and became friends. And, and he, uh, I got a call from Nadia and asked me to, and Spencer to ask me to be in Stabbing, right? Stabbing yes. in the Dark video. Yeah. And Spencer said, are you cool with getting your eyes poked out? And I was like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And that took yeah. four hours kind of like, to put like, on. Yeah, kind of like Bill, same thing. I, I did that one first, Stabbing in the Dark, where I played the security guy and he pokes my eyes out. And then he called me and we talked about um, me playing his lawyer. And I said, well, what do you want to call him? He goes, well, Carlos from Nightmare on Elm Street and Cochran, or as they like to call me, Cochran, but that we won't talk <laughs> oh about Oh <that."> my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that started for me. And then we, you know, Spencer and I talk a lot and, I, and, and we talked about the character and, and they had written a great thing for me. And when you get dialogue and fun stuff like that, it's really easy to make a cool character. And so that's that's how it came came about. And then which, I which means being, he never went to law school. So he's, <laughs> that's a lie. Yes, I have. No, I, I, I mean you're, all, you're always guilty. Yeah. And then my first my first the first day of filming, I, I had known Bill. I never got to work with him. I always really wanted to work with him. And we got on the set. You know, and you have your lines. You have all these great things. And and I'm prepared. And I'm I got my lines. And the first thing he does is go off the page inside the, we were in the interrogation room. And I was like, oh, okay, we're going to oh, box. you want to play that we're way. We're going to box. Okay, <laughs> let's right. do that. So we had, I had the best time working with Bill on this thing. It's just, I'm humble. <laughs> that, yeah, that's how that started. I mean, you're always having your, your senses destroyed on screen. You know, your eyes, your ears, like, what, what is that about? I mean, yeah, I is someone, are, you think maybe it'll be your nose next in a, <laughs> in a horror film? Oh. I do, I, you mean as far as building the character? No, I just mean as far as, like, you're always getting attacked, like, your eyesight, your hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, none of it works. <laughs> uh, so Nadia, um, Ice Nine Kills, have you heard this band? Do you know, have you met this? Uh, not Spencer really. <laughs> Are you, are, you, are you becoming the Sherry Moon zombie of the Ice Nine Kills universe? I mean, everybody has been saying that, and I, that's an honor. Yeah. So thank you, guys. And, and, <laughs> or, or the great Tawny Katane, rest in peace, from the White Snake videos. Wait, it's, a, it's a great lineage that you're in. Of, oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> White Snake so fan? Cute. The White Snake crowd? <laughs> hey, Ryan. All my references are from 1982. It's, it's, it's hard for us to hear you because the speakers are up that way. Yeah. So we get like this giant. I've heard that. Scout. You're about to lose your hearing. Hi. <laughs> Scout. All right. Oh, hey, guys. Dude. Woo! Oh, yes. Hi, guys. Scouts in the house. So I have a, I have a lore question. Were you aware when you started playing this Horrorwood character? Mm -hmm of the twist that we wouldn't find out for a few more videos if you no. were. No. So was that, was that, I don't even that think Spencer was aware <laughs> of what the fuck it was going to end. Um, I met Spencer at the last Warp Tour, and I remember um, going, dude, if you ever need someone for your videos, I'll come out and have some fun with you. And so when he, we, we saw each other, I think, at a con, and I had, someone had, brought me or told me about his video or something and I, I popped it on and and I remember seeing him at a con and I was like dude I'll I'll do something for you like your videos are sick and so when he was like yeah you will and I was like yeah sure and um I remember I think we were filming our the first video that I did I think Spencer and I like or very sarcastic human beings so like our banter was really funny and I remember going oh yeah wouldn't it be funny if like you know, I was the fucking killer or something. And he was like, wait a minute. And so he just, I think he just kind of ran with it. But, you know, he's just such a fucking powerhouse and a talent of a human being. Um, but I was, I do remember, like, when I got the first script and I was like, this is like paragraphs of dialogue and dialogue and dialogue. He's like, I thought that's what you guys actors want. I was like, no. <laughs> no well, we want to we want to say <laughs> we want the opposite. Yeah, we want like no lines and we just want to hold props and like <laughs> be a pretty face. And whoop some ass. Yeah, I whoop some fucking <laughs> yeah, ass. Cut, cut, cut. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I, I was a scout. You did an incredible job. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I thank mean, you. You were lying. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Well, go on. You Thanks. can give it up for scout. Thanks. <laughs> I've got uh, one line and it's two words, and I was really worried about <laughs> nailing it. So, like, you nailed it. When you have pages and pages. What were the words? All rise. <laughs> All rise. Yeah. That's me. I just want everyone to know that I, I, I not only put on weight, but I got older to, to play that part. It's for the role. It's only for the role. It's funny. Uh, so with this whole Silver Scream Con thing, I love doing this. Who's at their first horror convention or, or Silver Scream in general is your first oh, horror convention? Oh, my right? God. We all popped your fucking cherries awesome. is what we did. That's, That's awesome. right. Congrats. <laughs> and, I, and I have to ask, and I realize it's a little bit of a loaded question because you're on the spot. But, I mean, for those of you who do horror conventions regularly, and not to throw any other shows under the bus, but how fucking awesome is this one? Like, this it's is so the well fucking run. best. This is the best. It's yeah. so well organized. It's filled with such good energy. Like, everyone is so cool, from the guests to the fans, like, and then there's a fucking rock concert in the middle of it. Like, it's, yeah. it's rad. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. screening, a karaoke, a yeah. concert, and I don't know what's going on tonight, but probably something really well, well, cool. There's probably something going on for sure. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Those of you that raised your hand and said it's your first one, are you coming back next year to Silver Scream 4? Yes! I want to hear. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> You're so, so Bill, cute. How is it? How, how is it you being in these? Has the root beer? Answering what? <laughs> yes. What was what was the question? What did you say? <laughs> I, I hey, what well. did you say down there? <laughs> <laughs> well, just, you know, what? I thought he said, "How's the root beer?" I was. Like, oh, the root beer is <laughs> great, Bill. Where's the root beer? I haven't tried. I haven't tried. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't tried. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually drink la, 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 root beer. Hey, Nadia, it's going great. Oh, thank you. You're doing great. <laughs> no, Bill. For I was like, I was hyperventilating back yeah, there because was. I had she no was. idea I was doing a panel, and this is my first one. Yeah. Thank you. She's doing a great job, right? She's doing a great job. Yay! We want to see you do more panels. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you're doing great. Well, my next question was actually for Nadia about her oh. relationship with her parents <laughs> and <laughs> early childhood traumas. Oh, no, let's um, not get into that. <laughs> Holy shit. No, I, w I was asking, uh, Bill, the question was basically, you know, as veterans of horror conventions, without yes. throwing other shows under the bus, how fucking awesome is this one? The way that it's run, the people that are here, the attitude. <laughs> Dude, I thought you were going to do this. I thought you were going to go so so. For those of you listening to the you know, audio podcast, you know the one thing. The one thing. The one thing that I have. I, I love this, and I you know I love being back in Worcester. I've been here uh, you know several times for the uh, for the old Rock and Shock. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I got to say that uh, what's what's amazing about this show is that it's kind of it's kind of uh, it's kind of run by rock and roll. Yeah. You know, it's like and. And rock somehow, rock, rock rules. I agree. Just in terms of like organizing and just the way they've done this, they've set this up and, and treated us. And the food is awesome. And, you know, we get a little, got, had a little like little rolls of roast beef for lunch. It's like very cute and delicious. Yeah. And uh, I think it's uh, fantastic. And I think it's so great that you all have come out. Usually for most conventions, it's Friday night's pretty good. Saturday's the big day. Sunday's not so great. And, today, and this this convention has been consistently packed. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so, thank you all for coming out. Boy, it's yeah, been yeah, great. Yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause, which is a great segue. We have a microphone and a microphone stand right there. That is, of course, for questions. Yes. All you have to do you is... You have to uh, get up and walk to up. the center. And Someone everyone's going to stare at you. <laughs> and you have to ask the greatest question they've ever heard. Oh no, you just What's have to tell us your name and, and where you're from. And uh, if you could keep it to one question, because there's nice uh, shirt. a lot of people here. Yeah. yeah. Murder That's me, so Spencer. Sick. I love it. That's it, about what, did you make 11 that? times Or did they make uh, those? No, I bought it. Uh, I bought it. In Johnstown last year when they were on the Kiss of Death tour, and 
Oh, it's so sick. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to pass this up. I love like, it. I love it. <laughs> um, so my question is, uh, I'm Emily from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hi, Emily. Hi. Hi. My question is for Nadia. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry, but <laughs> bro, we have to talk. We got to talk to business. Um, so, Scout killed your ma'am. How the fuck are we getting back at this bitch? Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. I know. Let's it's going to be fucking war. Let's go. Let's get the round card. Let's go. Security. Security. <laughs> Nobody talked to Spencer's man but her. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a like thing. Uh, so I don't remember the whole Silent Hill movie, like the original one, where that crazy uh, religious woman got torn to pieces at, with barbed wire. Uh, would you suggest that for her? Cause, cause, like, <laughs> oh, that will be used. She's giving you ideas. <laughs> Honestly, I've I, never seen yeah. that movie. Really? I have not. Dude, I think we have the next video. There you oh. go. Oh. I think. Yeah. yeah. The and, uh, next video. Uh, yeah, and I just want to yeah, see Silent something. Silent Hill, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted something to scout since you killed uh, Spencer. You, you have a psychos. Rule number one is Silver Scream. Don't fuck with the psycho family. Oh shit! Whoa. Oh shit! Oh shit! I knew it. I knew it. I told Spencer, I said, they're gonna fucking hate me, bro. <laughs> they're gonna fucking hate me. He's like, no, they're not. I'm like, they're gonna fucking hate me. Uh, two, two, th two things I wanna say. One, yeah. that was the craziest version of mine's more of a comment than a question I've ever yeah. heard. <laughs> she was serious too, man. Was, yeah, yeah giving us ideas. And, and, <laughs> and number two, in terms of Scout killing Spencer, Let's not forget that they were in on it together. That's right. And we he do brainwashed not, me yes. first. And, but we don't see a body. Yeah, we don't see a body. We hear we a body. We don't see a body. And where did I go? Yeah. Maybe they're a thruple. Where did Carlos go? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Nadia. No, he's in the limo. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. That, that's hearsay because no one... I was in love with Nadia the whole nobody time, all right? Nobody saw any guy. Nobody saw any blood. She shot the gun. That's true. But nobody saw a body. Oh, my so God. Not, so Carlos will live. Yes. I think the it's wheels are Maybe. spinning. I think it's possible the bailiff did it. You know, sometimes it's the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Strong, silent type. You never know. Hi, guys. I'm Jennifer from Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi, oh, Jennifer. Um, you guys are all awesome. I love how it unfolded. And yeah. Hey. Spencer finally got killed. Yay. Uh, but Nadia, on the Fuck. spot again, I got to know. Come we on, all Nadia. Know. Was it your choice to be killed in every video, and do you have a favorite kill? So, I did not have a choice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Spencer definitely wanted to murder me. Um, my favorite kill would be assault and batteries. Yeah. yeah. Like, Agreed. it was, yeah. Yes. My head was chopped off. I was on a green screen, and the director was like, Nadia, do some crazy twitches with your eye. And, like, they were, they had my hair attached to a string, and they were pulling it up, and it was just <laughs> so bizarre, but so fucking cool. That is awesome. So, awesome. that's my favorite kill Thank for you. sure. And I played a mother, so. Yeah. Aww, Thank man. you. And, and you know, when you said they finally killed Spencer, that's what Nadia wrote in her diary that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> hey there. Uh, Alex from New Hampshire. Yeah, and uh, nice. for all of you, the same question I ask everybody in the pit whenever I'm at an ink con, uh, an ink show, what piece of horror, movie, book, anything, do you want them to make a song of next? Oh, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! Look, you stumped I, us I, all. I I've been waiting for Alien since. Dude, they Aliens! Came out. I was just gonna you say know? that. Wow. Aliens! That would be so rad. Well, while they're thinking, I can already tell you mine. Mine's Clueless. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, wait, the Goonies? Ugg, Ugg, the Goonies? I would love to see the Goonies. <laughs> Well, I think as Spencer's lawyer, I think he's the only one I'm going to say that will answer that question. I, I, you cannot ask these people that question. When my client gets here, you can ask him that question. Oh, my God. It's so in character. I love it. Yep. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> Bill's like, I echo it. <laughs> what was the question? I'm, I'm sitting here before. What, what, uh, what movie, book, uh, TV show would you like to see Ice Nine Kills do a song about? Mm. Uh, Carnival of Souls. Oh. oh, shit. Ooh. Yeah, let's not fuck around here. 
if you uh, look at my letterbox profile where you put your four favorite films of all time, that's true. It's on there. It's one of my favorites. All right. Which one for me? Oh, finally, um, a reference that was older than my references. Thank you for that. <laughs> I would pick uh, What About Bob? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what about Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a good I choice. Like to see yeah, that. Really, this is your first panel, really? <laughs> Bob, Bob. That's a great question. Yeah, yeah that is a good, good question. Good question. Good question. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Melinda from Great Falls, Montana. Yes. And All right, Great Falls. Is for Mr. Mosley. Um, your character is Captain Harris. So was that a reference to the Police Academy movies? I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I wish Spencer was here to answer <laughs> yeah. some of these say, questions. I, I don't know it to be a fact, but knowing Spencer as well as we all do, I could I would say with like ninety five percent certainty it was. I, I, I'd say that was a Nadia question. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill you in the next video. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly. But it's not so bad, right? I don't, I don't even, know. It's good. Yeah, I don't even yeah. have a first name, by the way. It's Captain Hare. I guess my first name is Captain. I love that. It's it's just just Maybe it's Jerry. Yeah, it's I, I don't even know. Yeah. That would have changed the performance. If it was Jerry, I mean, that would have been a whole different deal. <laughs> we could abbreviate, uh, like I said, Captain No Case. I know you Harris. got it. At least you got two names, man. I just got Captain. That's right, Harris. Carlos Cochran. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yes. We won't say the other shit they call me. <laughs> I'd rather be Captain Harris than Carlos Cochran. I got <laughs> um, oh, Hi. Um, All right. <laughs> I'm Nicole from Scotland. Um, oh, Scotland. Yeah. Hi. Yes. A bunch oh, of yes. yes. Scotland. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Um, just want to say, love you all. The, watching the whole story unfold was amazing. It was can so you cool. talk closer to the Sorry. microphone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah. can pull it down, babe. I'm really. <laughs> you can pull it down, like just. To, yeah, there, there it is. You there you are. There you go, <laughs> Mama. For this. Um, yeah, loved watching the whole story unfold. Loved how it ended. It was brilliant. So unique to have something like this to follow along with. Um, oh question is, what was your favorite music video to shoot? Mostly for Nadia, because obviously you've been in all of them, but. <laughs> Yeah, what would the fun, most fun one that you've had to shoot with? I'm sorry. <laughs> was it was it the favorite scene to shoot? A favorite music video in in general that you've had oh. to shoot with Ice Nine Kills. Music Hills. video yeah. in, in general. Favorite favorite yeah, one. Favorite scene. Your favorite one. Yeah. Well, hit hit the courtroom scene was amazing yeah. for this guy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate that coming from you, man. That's awesome. It's like like one of you know your idols going, "Hey, you're really good." <laughs> I am unarmed. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think I you were that, fucking the awesome. The courtroom man. scene was was delicate, but I I loved that scene. But like I said, I think my favorite scene was when I first met Bill and we did that interrogation scene. Yeah, that was awesome. And um, yeah. I I I don't think I can say what you said to me exactly that first. I was expecting the line to come out, and he said something about um, doing something to my ass or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, did you have like, like butt uh, things okay. in? What's that's happening? Called, that's, that's called improv. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we make an Iceland Kills line yes. for that? Yes. <laughs> I don't know who my favorite kill was. I don't know if I enjoy killing Bill more or if I enjoy killing Spencer more. I'm not sure. I don't know. I think I freaked you the fuck out when I was killing Spencer. Yeah. I remember you guys were there off camera and they just gave me like a a little mat to hit with the, the bat. And I remember afterwards, Nadia was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I would say, yeah, definitely the ending scene when just all the silence people came out and mm -hmm. yes. it was just so eerie and you don't know who's under there. Yeah. And it's just so, like, it was unbelievable. And it was so fun, and we had uh, blood squirted in our eyes when we were killing him. <laughs> and yeah, it took a few days to get that out for sure, but that was just unbelievable. And yeah. Well, then, then they dropped the chainsaw on my head. They did, he had, he had a mark, and he was actually, his real blood was in the, in the music video, so. Yeah. And, and the cool thing about that scene was, what you guys seen was cool, but being there to see it live, it looked so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I remember yes. watching your, your stuff when you were doing it from the background. And yep. the way that these guys yeah, do their sets really and the professional 
capitalism they have on how they put this shit together, it's unbelievable. The whole it yeah. really good. And, and let's not forget Joe Bob Briggs was our judge. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Briggs. I was going to say, getting to, honestly, I know it's funny, I right. joke about it, but getting to be the bailiff for Joe Bob Briggs' judge was I mean, yeah. amazing. Yeah. And, then I, and I got to stand next to him and then watch all of these folks do their thing, because mm -hmm. I just got to stand there and watch, and it was awesome. By the way, uh, we have wrestling fans here too, right? <laughs> Can I just say, Scout, that your heel turn is going marvelous. <laughs> Thank, like, you. I love, Thank you. I love Thank you. Yeah. Embrace, embrace the hate <laughs> as the killer of Spencer. Yes. Wrestling fans, what you say? Wrestling fans. Oh, wrestling. Can you wrestling. hear us wrestling. down there? There's a wrestler in here. <laughs> we thought he said press Wait, over fans. there's a wrestler fans. in here? The hell is that? Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Hi. He's going to wrestle today. I'll ask the questions, Nadia. No, I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm Riley from uh, upstate New York. Um, my question is for all of you, since you've all played a character in um, the Welcome to Harwood series music videos, if you had to choose a different character to be, who would you be? Oh, fuck. Mm. Hey, Riley, is that a knife in your hand? Yeah, yes. it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's I, I, talking I, like this. <laughs> Sorry, I've been That's playing a with Nadia it. question. Yeah, that's a Nadia <laughs> question. <laughs> um... Shit. Spencer. Yeah. I'm going to answer it for us. I mean, I, I loved when the band was in, you know, they were short and they were on their knees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Spencer was walking down the hall. I was like, that would be really hilarious to do. So I tried to do it. I put on his shoes and the pads. And I couldn't walk, but I wish I could. So I would definitely love to play that part. <laughs> um, I, I, I'll be honest about the whole thing here. I have no doubt I would like to be Spencer Carnes. That's just the way it is for me. <laughs> yeah. um, he's an incredible guy. You guys don't really get to know him as well as we do. And he's, yes. um, he's just one of the smartest, kindest, incredible human beings I know Aww. and it's a pleasure for me to, to work and do this stuff with Nadia and the whole team you know with lawyer Eric I mean just everybody Mike there's an incredible team behind this and I've worked with Zemeckis and I've worked with um, some of the top people in this business so when I came to work with the whole back to the future team, fans in here yeah. <laughs> Make sure. uh, when I came to work with this crew um, it was the most incredible experience for me because they do everything top notch, just like this con. This is my favorite con to come to ever because they, they handle all of us with grace and all of you people. And it's, it's incredible. So yeah, I'd like to be Spencer. Did you see him last night? I want to do that. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. Fireworks. I think we all want to do that. It's yeah. funny you should say that, Ricky, because I was going to say I, I want to be Nadia. And if I, I mean, just imagine, okay. if you could be Nadia for like 30 seconds and you looked in the mirror and that's what you saw, you would never leave the house. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, would just, I would just stand there and... Be so stoked. Oh, thank Scout? you. I mean, think, of, think, think about this for one second. He's, he, he does this con. He's got the lines going out the door. He runs everything here, right, uh, uh, yesterday. And then he went and did what he did last night on the stage. I'm looking at him like, you're not human. He's There's not. something wrong with you, boy. <laughs> How does he do that? I think, I think Bill Mosley and I would switch parts. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be Bill, but I just want to like, look like you while I'm doing it. <laughs> Freaky Friday, anybody? Oh, let's yeah. go. Oh my Freaky God, Friday, a let's go for it. That is Freaky a movie, Sunday. that's a movie. Let's go for Freaky Sunday. <laughs> yeah. I'm still waiting for Spencer to call me up and go, guess what, we're going to make it a movie. I'm like, let's go, let's do it. Mm. Yeah. Would, you, would you guys be into a yeah. Hollywood yeah. cinematic film? <laughs> Did you hear that Netflix? Yeah. yeah. HBO. I don't Are think Har I don't think Harvey Weinstein heard it because he's. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. no. Oh, Worked with that guy. Shit. Sorry, is it too soon for? Bringing up trauma Weinstein? for me, okay? <laughs> Bringing up trauma. <laughs> um. Hi. By the, my by name the is... way, the drummer last night was kicking ass. Yeah. He was. yeah. yeah. Drummer is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Adam. Adam. How can amazing. I interrupt Bill Mosley? The whole band is amazing. <laughs> Come on. Um, my name is Ray. I'm from Minnesota. Hi, Ray. Um, Hi, Ray. My yeah. question is for all of you. Um, Y'all have been in a bunch of movies and music videos. Is there any like 
prop or piece of memorabilia that you've taken with you? Ooh. Ooh. That's a great question. And if so, what's your favorite? Uh, I would advise nobody to answer that question. <laughs> what did you say? Wait, what did you say? Everybody turn the cameras off. No. I, I, I've, still, I've still got my teeth from, uh, from uh, Texas Chainsaw 2. Wow. Oh, hell yeah. They're, they're, kind of, they're kind of black with like some kind of weird mold that must have <laughs> maybe come from outer space. But uh, they still fit. I put them in, and every once in a while, I get sick afterwards. But, uh, uh, and I have my plate. So. Yeah, I got a few cool things too. Um, I got a, uh, my board from uh, Back to the Future. Um, I've got my ear from Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I got the face piece from my when they blew my head up in Nightmare on Elm Street. The face piece flew off and landed by my feet. And I picked it up. Um, no, I didn't. I take that back. I didn't steal anything, but I did pick it up. So yeah, I, I have some cool things. And, and in the old days, it was you could take things, but then they realized these things were worth more money than you. So. So now you can't really, you have to like, kind of take them. Oh. Um, everything you see in the museum that's out there, I own, so. <laughs> have you all had a chance yeah. to visit the museum this weekend? Did you guys go to the museum? Yeah! What is your guys' favorite item that you see? My head, her head. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, from assault and batteries. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> the mean Greek costume. Oh Clarice. Yes. It was down to the purse and everything. Pantyhose, all of that. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. <laughs> Scout Taylor Compton, what have you taken home from the set? Oh uh, man, I've uh, I took all my wardrobe from the second Halloween. Because it was so badass. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was like, I want all of that. Um, I got one of the knives from the first one. Wow. And then I was given my guitar uh, when I played Lita Ford in The Runaways. Oh, you were given the guitar? Yeah. That's awesome. I was like, that's mine. <laughs> what was that sleepover movie you did? Oh, we're doing a sequel. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Nadia, we might have to have you in there. Oh, my God. Even if it's the back of my head. I would love that. <laughs> I didn't keep anything from the sleepover movie. Oh. <laughs> getting well, back this time, to what I was saying about props, not getting it, did you notice all her props are behind plastic? You can't get to them? Yeah. See? Smart. That's what? what I'm saying. All your props are behind plastic. You can't oh, get yeah. <laughs> but Spencer's DNA is on everything in my DNA. So. <laughs> right on. What are we going to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till you guys have babies. What? <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know. Oh yes. We want little babies. <laughs> don't worry, Nadia. There won't be any, like, big questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Bill, you mentioned having the Chop Top's teeth from Chainsaw 2. I actually have, I, I got to do a, a thing for MSNBC a million years ago where Greg Nicotero and Howard Berger from the great K&B effects, yeah. uh, they made me up as a zombie, and I, I kept the teeth from my day as a zombie. So yeah, keep your teeth someday we can, we'll have to get together and compare teeth. Yeah, have a drink, have a drink at a bar. Yeah. Keep your teeth and uh, brush every day, and I think flossing yeah, is also very helpful. Crest. Yep. Good advice. Thank you very much for that Thank question. You. Oh, he's wearing a twin yeah, temple. He, I, I That's a great band. He's on the leg, yep. the leg uh, scooter. Like the shirt, dude. I like the that. shirt. You've oh. been doing really good, actually. I've been watching you the whole con. You maneuver very well on that thing. Yes. He's zooming. He was one of the, he was one of the guys that, that got me with the chainsaw. And if anybody the, he's one of the silence down, guys. Come see Carlos Cochran. He's got that, I'll take got care that of silence that mask. Yes, everybody go visit uh, okay, here we go. all of us today. Go. go ahead. Yep. Um, my name is Jessica. I'm from Tampa, Florida. Oh, right. hi, Jessica. You guys have all been killed in some pretty gruesome ways. If you could get killed the way somebody else got killed, what would you choose? Ooh. Dude, these questions are rad. Yeah. yeah. Man. Um, maybe like, well, maybe not. <laughs> I don't want to be killed like that. I you know, would, the, what's, yeah. what's, the new, what's the new horror movie that follows the serial killer? What's that? What is that? The Violent Night. Dude, how they killed the yoga instructor? Maybe that. That was sick. That was a really yeah. good kill. Wait, which one? What's the question? How, how would, would you like want to be, be killed? killed? How would you like to be killed in a, yeah, in a violent um, way? Like iconic kills oh, that have happened. I would say guitar sh strings. Just 
slice yeah. my neck with right. guitar strings. That's for sure. I've spent a career dying, so yeah. I think I've died every way you can, can die, so I feel pretty fulfilled. <laughs> you know, in, in North Korea, I read that they, uh, you know, if, if the, uh, the leader there is, is pissed at you, they, uh, they, they literally they tie you up and then they shoot you with a, uh, with a, like a howitzer, like a cannon. Oh, what? I, I think that would be the way. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's definitely a quick way I to mean, go. Not necessarily. I did not have to travel that far, probably. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, someone asked this question during the Terrifier panel. and I, 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 oh, well, I, that's a good question for a Terrifier, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I just said I, I'd like to... I'd like to be licked, know, licked to death by a thousand puppies. I mean, why does it have to be? But how do you can die? It, can it be nice? I don't know. Just eventually. So, so let me you ask out. you, what, what would be your favorite yeah. way to die? Um, honestly, probably the eyeballs, because why not? Why not go out crazy? Yeah. Oh, my God. Get your eye, with your eyeballs, did you say? <laughs> I think awesome. I have that done, right? My special book, my eyeball done. Talk to Ricky afterwards. He knows, he knows about that. <laughs> Thank you for that question. Oh, man. hey. Uh, hi. Uh, hello? Okay. Hey. Hi, it works. Hi, I'm Christian uh, from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, <clears throat> my introduction to horror was through the channel Dead Meat. And yes. Yeah. Yes. And obviously you had Chelsea and James... Uh, on set with you guys for Shower Scene and Welcome to Horrorwood, uh, yep. the two songs. That, that Shower Scene kill, by the way, was, I was like so shocked. I was like, what, Just, what happened? <laughs> anyway, how was it working with Chelsea and James of Dead Meat? I mean, they are like not huge actors, they're more of the film fans. I mean, they were just so just natural. They just, they love us and they were like, oh my God, put us in the next, you know, music video. And we were like, hell yeah, you guys are fucking awesome. <laughs> and we didn't really know their acting skill because, you know, a lot of it's just podcast. And when they came on set, we're like, okay, this is, this is what you're doing. And they, I mean, I would say three takes. It was like that quick. It was just unbelievable. They really got into it. And yeah, I loved it. Were you? you talk about James? Yeah, James and yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I when I saw his performance, um, when he was getting killed, and, oh. and I don't know where you are, James, wherever you are, if you're seeing us, but um, yeah, man, it was incredible. I, I think I called him and I said, man, you, you're yeah. chops. You got, I know you do podcasts, but I believed every second what he was doing. And as an actor, that's what's important for me. So yeah, I loved his work. Yeah. So from, and, and from, from Chelsea's too. Yeah. Yeah, they're just good people, yeah, man. Like, oh, she's yeah. like, oh my god. From podcast to podcast. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm sorry. Did you, ever, <laughs> yeah. Did you ever meet them? I've met them after the fact. I hang yeah. out with them. I see them at parties all yeah. the time. Yeah. They're the best people. I go to their New Year's yeah. parties, their birthdays, yeah. wrestling night, um, <laughs> Christmas, Hanukkah. I mean, you name it. Yeah. These guys are living the dream. I swear. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I saw them at a Halloween party. It was your Halloween party. Oh, yeah. And that's the only party I went to in like a year, so don't. That was really fun. I'm throwing ones. another one this year. And you're all invited. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit, look what you started. I'm tweeting the address. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. You're, well, you're, you're my favorite. I feel like I've seen that outfit before. <laughs> <laughs> Great costume, by the way. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Let, um, let's hope it is a costume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fake blood. Don't worry. <laughs> um, my question's just, oh, I'm Hannah from Massachusetts. My question's very simple, but I just, I was like, I want to ask them something. I have to think of something. Um, for each of you, what's your favorite Ice Nine Kills song? Oh, Ooh, mine's Worst Vacation because I'm German. Oh. I used to live in Germany for seven years. German was my first language, and oh. I just love that there's, you know, some, some awesome German language. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, I'm done. No, I I'm love you so much. German <laughs> some German language. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Peace out. We'll, we'll be recharging our Nadia bot after this panel. <laughs> yeah. She'll be, she'll be back up to, it'll be fine. What's your favorite song? My favorite one? Ice and Kill Song. Ice and Kill Song. Aww. Oh, um, 
God, man, American nightmare, I would imagine. I was going to say the same oh, thing. Oh, I mean, yeah. I was going to say the same Freddy thing. Krueger and I have a little, you know, thing with him. So, yeah, I love that song. Um, and I love the new one, Walking on Sunshine. I yeah. Mean, yeah. yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah. came on last night, man. Welcome we to Horrorwood. down, but... <laughs> I, you know, I've listened to all the albums. I think I think they all have something incredible. They're really, really cool. They play on my cycle in my car, and so um, you guys know your Ice Night fans. What? It's hard to say what's the best because they're all so freaking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I have to catch a flight, guys. I'm so sorry. Aww, Thank you guys so bye. much. You guys are so fucking amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and also, you did two panels this weekend, so thank you for that. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Give it up for Scout, man. She's amazing. Woo! She's leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> don't know when I'll be back. That, and that's also your favorite Ice Night Kill song, as it turns out. So. <laughs> Isn't that one? Hey, maybe we can get Spencer to do that one next. No. Yeah, where is Should Spencer? we do a karaoke right now? Oh, <laughs> probably, yeah, he's probably up there. Yeah. Bill, as the resident musician on the panel, uh, what is your favorite Ice Night Kill song? You know, I, 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 I just had so much fun at the show last night. Um, but what is the title of the one that goes, Welcome to Horrorwood? <laughs> it's Welcome yeah, to Horrorwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Oddly enough, it's that's the name Horrorwood. of this panel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm auditioning for backup singer. Well, you have to remember, too, this is the first time. You should time go on stage with her. <laughs> Wait, favorite, what's yours? Last night's show was insane. Uh, well, I don't, I'm going to guess mean, Rain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love Hip to be Scared. It's like I, the first Silver Scream Con, I took a picture with Spencer, like, in matching outfits with, like, the raincoats and the axes and stuff. It was, it was great. So that, awesome. was, that song Fantastic. reminds me of good times. So... And what awesome. was yours? Oh, mine is Thank you. Well, thank you, Nadia. Yes. Mine, mine is a grave mistake because The Crow is my favorite film of all time. And there's, there's an Eric Draven over here. I always spot the Eric Dravens. Yeah. Um, it's my favorite movie of all time. So wait, did you watch the remake? Yeah. I'm sorry. What? The re. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your friend Spencer and I have some disagreements on this topic. Yeah. Fair. I haven't even seen it. No. See me. Uh, no. See me tomorrow at my panel about why the Crow should never be remade. <laughs> yeah. All right. And our last question of the Horrorwood panel. Um, hi, my name is Jalissa. I am hi, from Jennifer. New Jersey. All right. Um, and it's kind of a two-part question. Um, was there a time that you didn't know who the killer was in the Horrorwood series? Um, and who else would you have picked as the killer in the series? That's a great question. Oh. I know personally I had a theory that it was Nadia. Oh. <laughs> I mean, some days he'll, he'll have an idea for something and then the next day he's like, no, 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 scratch this, I'm gonna change it. We're gonna do this type of kill. And I mean, sometimes I go on set and I have no idea what I'm doing or saying or wearing, like even, so. Today she didn't know she was on this panel, that's a true story. Yeah, I didn't even know I was on this panel. I was like hyperventilating at my great. booth and my friends over there saved the day. <laughs> Like, so thank you for that. Give, yeah. give it up for Nadia, yeah. man. This is her first panel. I think she's doing an incredible <laughs> job, too, by the way. Yeah. Um, I, I think the question was, what do we... Uh, who who would, did you think was the killer? Who did I think, think the killer? Yeah, who there's did, who, something going on with them. Well, who did I think was the killer? Yeah, I think if I chose, I want, it would I, be both of them. Well, kind see, of I, like Ski and Matt. You know, they work together. Yeah. I knew, so. I knew it wasn't Carlos because he was such an incompetent lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just I, like I thought, a I thought it was Nadia. I, I, I would have loved it to be Carlos because I think who, who better than a lawyer to be a shithead like that? Yeah. Um, no, but I love lawyers. Don't say that. They're my favorite. Um, yeah, I, I think, I, I did think it was you, actually. I thought it was Captain well, no case over here. I did have a motive. I, I thought it was Roy Merkin who was doing it. <laughs> Roy Merkin. He's doing it to sell books and get the, get the story right. He was Bob. just trying yeah. to get his 15 minutes of fame. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that Roy Merkin. Last that, year I said it again. And let me just say that Roy Merkin, thank God he's not Roy here this Merkin. weekend. Right. 
We have a, a professional rivalry that goes back yes. many years. Oh, and uh, I'm telling you, it's not ever going to go down like it did at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in 2012 <laughs> yeah. ever again. This is all I'll say about Roy. Are, are you a singer? Are you in a band or something? No. The way you no. just worked that mic was very cool. That was cool. <laughs> I'd hurt all your ears if I had tried to sing, so absolutely not. Here, give us something, right. give us something. All right. I really, I, I really 15 can. seconds, let's do it's it. It's a horror convention, yeah. that's, that's too scary. Do I can't it, do, do it, it, baby. I can't, I can't. Woo, everybody, right, yeah. do 15 seconds. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Walking on sunshine. Whoa. Amazing. That's all. That was awesome. There you go. That was awesome. You need to leave what a great way to end a band. What a great way to end the Welcome to Horrorwood panel. Bill, Ricky, Nadia. Thank you, thank you. This is Ray Santiago, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Please watch, like, and subscribe, or else we'll find you and you'll die.